Now, from preparations for inter-Korean reunification and efforts to breathe new life into the domestic economy, President Park, who is expected to appoint her new cabinet this week, seems determined to carry on, of course, with the running of state affairs, which have been stalled since the awful ferry disaster back in April. Our Choi Yusun reports. During a meeting with her senior secretaries Monday, President Baca announced she would be launching on Tuesday her long-delayed committee to prepare for inter-Korean reunification. 앞으로 통일 준비위원회 출범을 계기로 통일에 대한 국민들의 관심을 제고하고 통일 시대를 열어가기 위한 방안들을 논의해 나갈 것입니다. The Joint Government Civilian Committee, headed by the President herself, was scheduled to be launched in April in line with President Bak's so-called reunification bonanza drive that was introduced earlier this year. The announcement, however, was delayed following the deadly ferry accident the same month. On the subject of another of her key state goals, economic revitalization, the President had directions for a new cabinet set to launch this week. President Buck specifically asked the new economic team to swiftly announce the government's policy direction for the second half of the year and push forward with her three-year innovation plan, including her deregulation efforts. Lastly, the president asked for a check on progress made in a drive for a creative economy. President Buck also urged the National Assembly to cooperate in passing a series of pending bills aimed at revitalizing the economy. On top of her state goals, the president now has the additional task of reforming the government and the public sector in the aftermath of the ferry tragedy. At Monday's ruling party convention, she pledged to do just that to ensure the nation's happiness and safety. Choi Yusun, Arirang News.